She is the first black woman to serve as justice on the Michigan Supreme Court. I had the chance to sit down with Justice Kyra Harris Bolden when she came to Broadcast House. You see, this runs deeper than becoming one of seven on the highest court in the state. She is the great granddaughter of a lynching victim. I do. I do. I do. And with that applause, history was made in Michigan's highest court. What's it feel like to be you know, 34 and living history? I understand the weight of this job. I understand the decisions that I'm making. And it is such an honor and a privilege to be one of seven people, equal partners in making decisions about what Michiganders will do and how they live their lives. Newly appointed Michigan Supreme Court Justice Kyra Harris Bolden joined us in Broadcast House in her hometown of Southfield, where she and her family still reside. The Lathrop High School graduate gives the city full credit for the rich diversity in her background and the drive to accomplish her dreams. Does it surprise you at all to, that we're still in 2023 having firsts in terms of African Americans? I know that it's a reality of what we're in and I know that it should be celebrated, but in 2023, I think that it's unacceptable to still be having firsts, but I understand what it means to a lot of people, uh, what it means for representation for little boys and little girls to see someone that looks like them on the highest court in the state of Michigan. You could say her warm aura and pleasant smile surrounds the fire in her soul. Justice Bolden was studying to be a psychologist, but it was a conversation with her great grandmother while in college at Grand Valley State that revealed who she really is, a product of great injustice. She shared with me before she passed the story of my great grandfather who was lynched in Tennessee in 1939 in Arlington, Tennessee. His name was Jesse Lee Bond. He was asking the store owner for a receipt and this incited a lynch mob and he was beaten and castrated and thrown into the local river and the coroner deemed it an accidental drowning. And as a result, his murderers walked free. I am so fortunate that that story was shared with me because it really did change the trajectory of my life. And some of the best days of her life, she says, were had in law school at University of Detroit Mercy School of Law. Lawyer Bolden was then elected to the Michigan House of Representatives in 2018 and spent many years being mentored by the very Michigan Supreme Court justice she would eventually replace. I assume the seat of former Justice Bridget Miriam McCormick. She has been a long time mentor of mine. Um, her campaign is one of the first campaigns I've ever worked on. So what's next for your future, um, for the future of Michigan? I'm hoping, hoping to accomplish con continued good decision making. <laughs> first and foremost, That's I mean, honestly, yeah. you know, again, this is such a powerful position that a lot of people don't get to occupy. And so for me, that's what's next is to make sure that while I may be the first, then I'm not the last. And as a first time mom to five month old Emerson, some of her most important rulings start at home. Being mommy to my five month old is very high on my list, making sure she's taken care of and working hard in this new role is also very, very important. Oh, those videos of little Emerson. But to hear her talk about the way young eyes, starting with her own five-month-old daughter, yeah. are looking upon her. You know, you can be what you can see. Yeah, and she that's seems a quote from the justice, and so she seems to understand the weight of of what's happening. Definitely, yeah. and has great humility behind it. Yeah. So we're excited to see what's to come. You can follow along as Seven celebrates Black History Month on WXYZ.com. We've got a list of all the events you can attend to celebrate and a look at all the stories of inspiration in Metro Detroit.